Hello and welcome to Kedrick Farms. We're back with another episode of Lincoln Creek, Nebraska. Last time we planted corn in a couple of fields and some sunflowers. And so we've got these two fields up by the farm planted. In fact, if we pop open the map here, we put sunflowers in field 62 and corn in field 63 and 50. We've now got just one field left of corn to plant and that is field 68. So we've got all of our uh, planters back up here at the yard. We topped off the fertilizer and the seed. And so we're going to go ahead and get all of this equipment brought out to the field, including the semi sense. Uh, this is a pretty big field. I think we're going to uh, need to refill these planters at some point here. So we did uh, set up a little bit of auto drive here off camera. So we're going to pop open the HUD here and send these guys down to that field. And get the convoy started here so to speak with a map this big it's hard not to use uh, mods like auto drive and course play to assist with getting your vehicles around and doing different jobs and so I'm really happy to uh, be able to use this auto drive mod especially it works great for uh, road transport of stuff so we're gonna get everything all uh, loaded up here. I don't think we're gonna need the pickup for anything. So I'm gonna actually uh, Jump in the Peterbilt here and drive that down We are running a little bit low on the fertilizer, but I think we're gonna have enough to finish this field off I don't want to overbuy our product just yet uh, Because as we get into planting some of these other crops like soybeans, we really don't need any liquid fertilizer in fact we'll probably switch things over to uh herbicide in the planters if that's a possibility I don't know with this particular mod uh, but I, a lot of times when I plant my beans I like to put down the uh, herbicide at the same time just to you know kind of cut down on the amount of work that we have to do here so we're gonna pass this guy here while he's uh, going see if we can get up ahead of the tractors here get out to the field and figure out where we're going to want to set everything up here and uh, really take a look at the uh, headlands and stuff and figure out how we want to generate the course for course play it's always interesting this will be the first time i'm running these uh, two planters on the same course at the same time and we've got two different tractors here so i'm going to be really curious uh, my goal for planting this field with two implements at the same time is really to compare and contrast between the articulated tractor and uh, the non-articulated tractor and see which one performs better. I figure if we start them at approximately the same time, we'll see which one finishes its course first. Uh, I'm thinking, I'm pretty sure I know which one that's going to be. I don't think the articulated tractor is going to perform nearly as well as the non-articulated version, but we're going to find out. So we're up here at the, um, there's like a bin here on the edge of the field. And so we don't technically own this bin at this point, although I think we're gonna end up buying it come harvest just to have somewhere to put the corn temporarily. I think it's gonna be a lot more efficient to set something up to just keep dropping into this bin with our course play course, and then have the trucks just cycle through to bring it back up to the farm. Uh, rather than trying to set up some kind of uh, wonky course play courses that jump into the truck, sometimes that causes issues. And honestly, this has got the big fan on here. This might be one of those bins that works as a dryer, so that would be even better if we could put some of the wet corn right into this bin and have it dried uh, via the fan. So I'm looking forward to harvest. We're going to figure out how this uh, functionality works for sure. So just taking a quick look at this field, it's pretty much square. Um, there's a little bit of trees in the corner there where it comes in a smidge, but not enough to matter. We've got the same inset here on this corner with the bin. And so this is gonna be the simplest course play course you could ask for. So we're gonna go ahead and jump in here. I'm gonna take over for auto drive on this first lead tractor. And we're gonna go ahead and pull him right on into the field here and get the course generation set up. And that will make sure he's out of the way. Not that auto drive tends to have a lot of problems with uh, other vehicles being in the way. It looks like our semi is just uh, in the way for this curve as well, which is okay. So we're gonna turn all the auto drive courses off here 
and get this guy pulled right up behind as well and we'll let him start unfolding his planter here and we're gonna bring up course play here we're in planting mode so we're gonna come into course generation we're gonna select our field we are gonna do two headland passes because we we're having a little bit of trouble turning around with the road track when i did field 50 with only two and since we're going to use multiple tools, that'll be a total of four headland passes, which should give us plenty of room. Starting location, we're going to go with southeast. And I'm going to put on our other headlands. Let's see what this does. That looks like a very reasonable course to me. So we're going to go ahead and hop on in here turn on our course play points so we can see where we need to be i was hoping when i put it into the corner rather than current vehicle location that the point wouldn't be facing the other way i was mentioning this the previous episode i just wish that when you were starting on a corner and going that way that the point would face you know towards the driveway not in the middle of the field whatever it's not a big deal so the only difference here is we have to select our lane offset. This guy's going to start on the left, and I am starting uh, this guy out first just because I want to give him, I'll say, a little bit of a head start because I think he's going to run into more problems than the other tractor here. So I want him uh, to get ahead a little bit here and give him his best chance to win out, which also means that actually... I lie, we're not gonna put him out first. We're going to uh, make the other guy first because if I put this guy first, uh, he's, I know he's gonna run into issues, I just know it. And if he runs into issues, then that means the guy behind him is going to run into issues because he's gonna run into him. So we just gonna, we're gonna save ourselves a lot of pain here. We're gonna grab the track from the other road track. We are gonna save this as field 68 um, 2x plant there we go so he's now going to be the left side and start at the first waypoint here drag course oh wait wait stop corn drive course All right, there we go. So this guy is now going to be off to the races. And as always, we're going to bump our speeds up just a smidge here. And we're going to let that guy do his thing. We're going to wait a few seconds here, and then we're going to start the second guy off here. I don't want them to be spaced out too much. Because that can also lead to issues, especially while we're doing the headland passes and stuff. So we're going to put this guy on the right side now. We've got the same speeds set up. And I'm going to close off of the temporary course and load the actual course here. And we're going to set this guy off on his way as well now. So just like that, we've got both of these planters going. If we look at the uh, timer down here though, this is still gonna take an hour and a half with two of these planters running on the field, which is, uh, I mean, not unrealistic or unreasonable, but that's a lot of, uh, a lot of time, game time here. And that's, uh, I've mentioned it before, I'm really looking forward to hopefully getting my hands on the wider custom modding planter here at some point that would be awesome but until then we're just gonna run multiple implements here and see how this goes so with that let's jump out here we'll do a little bit of a montage as we work our way through planting this field
so we're coming down here on the final round on uh, field 68 here. We've covered quite a few acres uh, planting so far this season. In this particular planter, if you look at the lower right hand corner, it looks like we're just passing 65 acres. And as long as our other planter is right here, We'll jump in here. This planter's covered 78, almost 79 acres. And so we're probably a little more than halfway done with our planting season here, but we do have quite a few fields left to go. And we've got one field we're not even gonna plant. So I'm gonna be really curious to see what our total acres covered uh, this season is gonna be once we get done and uh, can add everything up here. Now, what I don't know is, did I use either of these machines for tillage? I don't think I did. These were hooked up to the planters, so this is just planting acres, which is going to be a really cool metric to have. Now, I'm eyeing my liquid fertilizer here. We're coming in. We've got eight gallons left in the tank. Am I going to make it to the end row or not? That's what I really want to know. It's looking less and less likely, but we are close. Uh, you may have noticed I had to bring the, um, we'll call them the crop circles, the crop visibility circle, uh, back in a little bit here because we, uh, we're having a little bit of performance problems on areas of this map, especially once we got course play uh, moving and grooving on here on top of having just, it's a big 4x map and there's a lot of detail. Now, we didn't get our uh, liquid fertilizer topped off here, so what we're going to do is bring this up this is why we brought the semi out here and so i'm going to fold this up just to make it a little bit easier to maneuver over here we're going to go ahead and top the fertilizer off here uh, because we are going to need a bit more we've got to finish that round and i've got to take one more pass up and so when i say top it off i'll probably just fill up these front tanks right now i think uh, and I probably shouldn't have even done that. I'm sure the other tractor's gonna need a little bit. Hopefully there's just a little bit left in the uh, semi there for us to top off. But we're gonna have to head back out here and finish up this row. I can't believe how close we got to making it to the end row here. I should have just uh, taken over manually and not uh, tried to worry about the fertilizer just now. But, you know, it would have bugged me probably, so we might as well. So we're going to go ahead and come right back down. We're not actually going to use course plate. I'm going to set up a quick GPS here. Because we're going to need to turn around and fix the uh, bit that we missed over here. We had a course plate issue, and I found my tractor on the wrong side of the field doing something janky. And so we've got one little pass over here that we'll need to fix that is not technically part of the remainder of the course here um, so course play isn't going to figure out how to do this it's a headland pass over on the far side of the field here so that's okay um, and I think the other thing we were kind of keeping track of here is which tractor was going to be faster um, this tractor is definitely a full pass ahead of the other tractor and this is the one that had the issue and we had to fix it. So um, I guess it's probably a full pass ahead, partly because it didn't do this pass that we're about to finish up here, but also it just turned around a lot faster. Uh, it was able to do the tight turns to get back into its row where the articulated tractor, um, depending on how it was turning back into its row, had to do the little back up uh, thing that the helper AI does sometimes so that cost him probably a good 10 seconds on each turnaround but uh, overall I think that course play did an awesome job on this field it is a giant square field though so I wouldn't expect any less and we're gonna take this all the way up here to the end row and just finish this off the other worker here should come back up on uh, the appropriate side to cover what's left there uh, if he doesn't, I might have to jump down there and check on him. Oops, we're talking and not uh, paying attention to our rows moving over here. Let's uh, make sure we don't miss this bit. But we might have to jump down there real quick and take care of that last bit manually if uh, the row track jumps over a extra row here. It looks like he's jumping in back into the appropriate row. It's a little hard to tell at a distance sometimes, but... 
He seems like he's lined up right there with the area that needs to be planted still, which makes me very happy. And surprisingly, we didn't have to put any seed in here. I was kind of expecting to have to refill the seed on these planters. Uh, we did get them below half though, so we did move through a decent amount of seed. I know one of the things MRG talked about was adjusting seed usage on this map to be more realistic. So I'm guessing that comes into play here. I'm not sure what the actual uh, corn usage, the seed usage for corn is per acre. Um, I'm not going to double check his math, but I'm just going to acknowledge that it seems a bit different than base game, which is okay with me. I'm also noticing how much fuel we've used out here uh, planting this field. We're already down under uh, half a tank here, which is awesome. So we will need to refuel everything once we get back up into the yard after we wrap up the corn planting. That'll be a good time to get everything switched over to uh, our next crop. This is our last field of corn. And so I'm looking forward to... Uh, bumping the days forward. I think this is the last job we're going to do here on day three. I want to keep the days moving forward on this series so that we're not just sitting still. And as long as we're here, we're going to clean up the course play corner. It did a better job than it typically does. Uh, it, we got the turn mode on rather than the smooth mode for our headlands. It seems to do good, better with these um, hard corners at least. And it looks like this guy got the bits that we're missing, so we're going to jump in here and turn him off. There's no sense in replanting this section at all. And so he came in at approximately the same amount of seed. We're at 49% and a little bit of liquid fertilizer. So we'll end up consolidating all of this here at some point and getting everything switched over once we get back up into the yard. So let's go ahead and fold both of these planters up so that we can get them ready for the road. Now, we don't have an auto drive course that runs through this road here, but I did go around the big box on the outside of the map. So I've got an auto drive uh, course way over here on this road, and this is actually closer than driving all the way back down the length of the field. And so I think what we're gonna do is just run down to this intersection and then send this guy on back up to the farm rather than uh, try to trek all the way across field 68, which we've just planted. And at some point while I'm doing these big course play jobs, I'll continue to expand our auto drive network a bit to optimize it. But for the time being, this is working pretty good. Um, I can get to the main auto drive uh, part of the course within about 30 seconds from anywhere on the map now, which is what I was shooting for. All right, so we're going to send this guy on his way as well. Oops, not to field 68. We want to go back to the farmyard. There we go. Please don't drive on the neighbor's crops, though. Oh, my goodness. And we'll jump down here and get the semi doing the same thing. Looks like uh, that tractor is already uh, moving past us here, which is good. He's flying along. He's got uh, 32 miles an hour top speed. I was hoping to hop down here before he went by us to get the semi going. I've got the semi with the speedometer at 55. So I think what we'll do is uh, see if we can pass him and then turn on our auto drive course. Although it's honestly not that far back up to the farm. I mean, it is a 4X and so everything is a uh, decent sized but it's a very typical uh, Midwest area where you've got kind of a square road grid. And so that wasn't so hard. We got ahead of him here. Let's get our auto drive course moving. We're gonna go to the farmyard and hit go. One of the cool things that I didn't get a chance to show off last episode is that we're starting to get dirt and wear textures all lined up here onto the rock picker. So you'll notice that there's a uh, some damage here in the bucket you've got some of the paint scratched off we've got some dirt in here and so this looks really cool i like this a lot uh the little details starting to come together here on this mod uh and so i'm really looking forward to getting this thing released i know permas and thundar modding have been working together to really improve some of the functionality here i've seen a preview of it i'm looking forward to showing that off here uh in the next day or two and 
one of the great things about how we send all of our equipment back up to the farm here is that the semi is already back up here. So I can now jump into this, move it around, get it into a good position for where I want it. And uh, by the time I'm done moving this thing around, the next vehicle will come in behind rather than if they're all stacked up behind the slowest vehicle. They all show up at the same time and you're scrambling to move everything around and deal with it so that you don't have all your equipment stacked up with auto drive. So we've got our equipment showing up here in the main yard finally. And uh, I think with that, this is a great place to wrap up today's episode. We got a lot of work done. Uh, I know by the time we're done editing this video, it may not seem like a lot because we are going to montage out most of the heavy lifting here on plant in this field. However, uh, this was a big deal. This was our biggest planting uh, field that we had to do. And so the bulk of our work on the spring season here is now done. We've got a few fields left to plant with some other crops. So next episode, we'll be getting everything switched over, tackling some of our soybeans, taking a look at where our wheat field is, and really getting ready to move on into our probably summer spraying season. So I'm looking forward to that a lot. Hopefully you've enjoyed today's episode. If you have, drop a like. It helps the channel out immensely. And leave a comment below. Let me know what you think of the series and what else you'd like to see on the channel. That's all for today. Kedrick, out. What is going on here? Oh, course play. So much for me thinking that uh, this tractor was going to be the winner when it came to course play. Now, we don't have an auto drive course. Oh my goodness. Uh, I do want to bring my auto drive speed limit down to 55 though. I find that going faster than 55 causes problems. Oh my goodness. Thanks, auto drive. Traffic is going to be a problem here. Oh! <laughs> what just happened? That was, uh, that was epic. Thanks. Thanks, auto drive. Alright, looks like traffic's going off, folks.